Hello everyone, in this video we are going to solve the problem of simulation. Look at the problem. A bright bakery keeps a stock of popular brand of cake. Previous experience indicate the daily demand as given here. Uh, there are two rows. First row is daily demand and the probability. Daily demand 0 and the probability of for that is 0 0.01. Daily demand is 10 cake uh, and the probability of that is 0 0.20. Daily demand is 20 cake and the probability of that is 0 0.15. Daily demand is 30 cake and the probability of that is 0 0.50. Daily demand is 40 and the probability of that is 0 0.12. Daily demand is 50 and the probability of that 0 0.02. Consider the following random sequence of random number. Random numbers are there are 10 random numbers 48, 78, 19, 51, 56, 77, 15, 14, 68 and 9. Using this sequence, simulate the demand for next 10 days. Find out the stock situation if the owner of the bakery decided to make the 30 cakes every day. Also estimate the daily average demand for the cake on the basis of simulated data. In this numerical problem, first of all, we will find out the random number coding. Now in the random number coding, first of all, we will go for the one table. In that table, we will draw the four columns. First column will be daily demand, second column will be probability that we will take from the question as it is. After that we will calculate the cumulative probability and the, from the cumulative probability we will calculate the random interval. Now practically we will see how to draw the table of random coding. See the table of random coding, it has a four column. In the first column daily demand, uh, we have taken this daily demand from the question 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 and 50. The second column is the probability. Again, we have taken this second column from the question 0 0.01, 0 0.20, 0 0.15, 0 0.50, 0 0.12 and 0 0.02. Next step is calculate the cumulative probability. Now for the cumulative probability, we will write this probability as it is 0 0.01. For the second probability, for the second cumulative probability, we will add the previous probability to the current probability means 0.01 our previous probability plus 0.20 is equal to 0.21 again the cumulative probability for the third row here also we will do the same thing previous cumulative probability that is 0.21 plus current probability is 0.15 therefore 0.21 plus 0.50 is equal to 0.36 now the cumulative probability for the fourth row Again here we will carry forward our previous uh, cumulative probability 0 0.36 plus current probability 0 0.50 is equal to 0 0.86. Cumulative probability for the fifth row here also uh, we will carry forward our previous cumulative probability that is 0 0.86 plus current probability 0 0.12 is equal to 0 0.98 and the last cumulative probability for the last row previous cumulative probability 0 0.98 plus current probability 0 0.02 is equal to 1. After this we will go for the random interval. Now before calculation of the random interval I would like to tell you one very important thing. Random interval always between 0 0 to 99 means this is the range of the random interval 0 0 to 99. Now we will calculate the random interval for the first row. The initial starting point of the random interval is 0, 0. Therefore, here I will write 0, 0. For the upper range of this random interval, uh, take the cumulative probability of that row. Here, cumulative probability is 0 0.01. Multiply this cumulative probability by 100. Suppose if we multiply 0 0.01 into 100, then it is equal to 1 and minus that answer by 1. Therefore, 1 minus 1 is equal to 0. Therefore, upper range of this random interval is 0, 0. Therefore, here our first random interval is 0, 0 to 0, 0. Now, we will write down random interval for the second row. Here, the most important thing is do not start this random interval from this previous 0, from the previous range. Add 1 to the previous range. Means here, uh, random interval will start with the 1 and upper range of the random interval will be 0 0.21 into 100 minus 1 is equal to 20 random interval for the third row again here we will add 1 to the previous range of the random interval it will be at 21 to 0 0.36 into 100 minus 1 is equal to 35 similarly easily we can write down the random interval for the remaining rows 
here we will start our random interval with 36 and 0 0.86 means here our upper range will be 85 for this row the we will start random interval with 86 and upper range for this random interval is 97 again for the last row we will start random interval with 98 and upper range for the random interval means 1 into 100 minus 1 is equal to 99 in this way we have calculated random interval for each row and this is our random number coding table now this table is very useful for the final answer after this the next step is we want to find out the simulated demand for the next 10 days now for calculating the simulated demand for next 10 days we are going to use this 10 random numbers again we will draw one table in that table the first column will be the given random number that is 48 78 19 51 56 77 15 14 68 and 9 and in the next column we will simulate the demand for the next day on the basis of this random number now practically we will see how to calculate the simulated demand for the next 10 days here i have created a one table determination of demand and stock level as we discussed the first column is a random number i have written the 10 random number given in the question on the basis of this random number now we want to calculate the daily demand now the question is that how to find out the daily demand how to simulate the daily demand on the basis of the random number first random number is 48 now find out this 48 is belong to the which random interval now this 48 the first random interval is 0 0 so definitely this 48 will not belong to the first random interval second random interval is 120 definitely 48 is not belong to the second uh, random interval or so third random interval is 21 to 35 48 is not belong to this group also now here the fourth random in, uh, interval is 36 to 85 definitely this random number 48 will belong to this random interval and in this row in this random interval row find out the daily demand now in this random interval row the daily demand is 30 therefore if our random number is 48 then our simulated daily demand is 30 similarly find out the random number 78 uh, in which random interval this 78 is belong again this will be belong to the same group 36 to 85 and for that random interval for that row the daily demand is 30 the next random number is 19 now find out in which random interval this 19 is belongs this will belong to the second uh, random interval the second row and in the second row the daily demand of the cake is 10 therefore here we will write the 10 similarly find out again random number 50 51 now 51 is belong to again this group 36 to 85 uh, random interval and the daily demand is 30 for this random number next random number is 56 again it will belong to the random interval 36 to 85 and the daily demand for that random interval is 30 next random number is 77 again this 77 will belong to here 36 to 85 random interval and the daily demand is 30 here we will write down 30 next random number is 15 this 15 will belong to this second random interval 0 1 to 20 and the daily demand of the cake for this random interval is 10 next random number is 14 now this 14 again belong to here 0 1 to 20 and the daily demand is 10 next random interval is 68 now the 68 will belong to the 36 to 85 this random interval group and the daily demand is 30 again here we will write down 30 random number last random number is 9 now this 9 will belong to the second random interval 0 1 to 20 and the daily demand uh, for that is 10 in this way we have completed the simulated daily demand for the cake on the basis of the given 10 random number for next 10 days now look at the question again in the question we want to find out the estimate the daily average demand for the cake on the basis of the simulated data means we want to find out the average of the daily demands for the cake and next question is find out the stock situation means here we want to find out the stock level if the owner of the bakery decided to make the 30 cake every day means here we want to find out the two answer now first of all here we will calculate the daily average demand for the next 10 days now first of all take the summation of this daily demand 30 plus 30 plus 10 plus 30 plus 30 plus 30 plus 10 plus 10 plus 30 and plus 10 therefore summation of this total daily demand is equal to 20 and it is for 10 days therefore 
एवरेज इज इक्वल टू टू ट्वेंटी बाई टेन इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी टू यूनिट पर डे Now this is the answer of the first question. Now we will go for the second question. Now for the second question, we want to check the stock situation. If the owner of the bakery decided to make the thirty cake every day. Now look at the first row. The daily demand is thirty, and the as per our condition, if the owner of the bakery decided to make the thirty cake, it means that the in the bakery thirty cake are available, and the demand is thirty. Therefore, we can say that uh, the stock situation or the stock or the balance stock is equal to zero. Look at the second condition again. Thirty demand and thirty cakes are available in the bakery. The stock situation is zero. The daily demand is ten, and in the bakery thirty cakes are available. Therefore, we can say that in the bakery there are twenty cake are balanced. Thirty minus ten is equal to twenty. Again, thirty demand is thirty, and the cake available in the bakery is thirty. Therefore, the balance is cake are zero. Here also the balance cake are zero. Here also balance cakes are zero. Now again, look at this condition. The demand for the cake is ten, and in the bakery thirty cakes are available every day. Therefore, the balance stock is thirty minus ten is equal to twenty. Here also thirty minus ten is equal to twenty. Here again, see the situation. The daily demand is thirty, and the cake available in the bakery is also thirty. Therefore, uh, balance cakes are zero. And the last, the daily demand is ten, and the in the bakery thirty cakes are available. Therefore, balance cakes are twenty. In this way, we have calculated the stock situation as per the given condition. Therefore, we can say that eighty cakes. If you add, there are the four days where the uh, stocks are balanced, and if you combine these four dates numbers, then it will be a eighty. Therefore, here we will summarize the answer. The next ten days daily demand. The next ten days simulated daily demand is uh, the total summation is two twenty, and the average is twenty two cake per day. And the last column is representing the stock situation on the given condition. If the bakery owner produces the thirty cakes per day.